my name is Maria Kondzielska and today we're still talking with Dominika Vajniak about her photography. In the previous episodes you learned how she started her career in Birmingham College in UK and today we'll ask a little bit more about her first achievements. Dominika, you won a prize in International Fashion Week show in Miami. So in US, and as I understand, Miami is a place of full of splendor, but also a place where I guess many very good photographers want to show their works. How did it happen that actually you were the one to win the prize? I sent my major project, photography for my major project, so it's, uh, and it's portraiture for models. Uh, and I awarded this fashion photography uh, competition. I sent it, I remember, and really, um, I'm really shocked. So <laughs> you didn't expect to win? No, 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 I sent it, because okay, I sent it my major project, it's some portraiture, and I shocked when they, I saw, I remember the email, congratulations, something like that, okay, really, and I, I remember I awarded it, uh, I was lucky that I can fly to Miami and, uh, and have it, this, this prestigious prize, yeah, and Tiffany and Co. trophy. Uh, and later they also um, organized some exhibition, is a new star in fashion, so it's really great um, for me. So you became a new star in fashion in, <laughs> no, 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 in no, the United new States. New star, okay. Is it some title, new style? And well, don't be mad at so much. Tell me, uh, did it open this price? Did it open the doors for you, uh, for your later career? Did it bring you uh, new projects, new clients? Yeah, new clients, because you know, I can say Maybe, okay, Dominika Wozniak, some, some, I'm a photographer, but I have also this award, yeah. So it's really helped me with clients uh, and I award it. Later I send it more of my, uh, my works for, for some competitions, yeah. So it's really helped me. And later also I, my uh, university, Birmingham City University, gave me also uh, some prize and the celebrity uh, was in the Symphony Hall in the UK. Okay, so you got another prize from your university yes, at Birmingham. from my university. After Miami, but I hope so, it's, it's good. And they also look at it for my photo and, wow, great, Dominika. You are the winner from, from our Birmingham City University. And Wonderful, though. so that actually they support you in a way as well, to, op to help you with uh, op like actually developing your career. And um, so tell me, please, what is usually the biggest problem when you approach a topic? You know, before photo shoots, I have to prepare everything. For example, if I have some clients, I usually present them uh, my, my uh, ideas. It's a first and maybe second ideas. I create some mood boards. They also create some mood boards and we are together look at it and come on, we have to do it. Some similar, yeah, time. Who do you work with normally? Normally, uh, now I'm okay in fashion photography, but also advertisement. So I have a lot of clients, clients for advertisement, but maybe for some, uh, also some competition, for example, with hair, hairstylist. Later we send it also for, for some competition, day or competition. And day to day, uh, maybe I will do it only some business photography. I go to for some offices. So tell me what's the process. The process is like uh, you find a model and with the models you shoot, you shoot photos and then you send them to the magazine or differently it's a magazine which order you order um, projects and give you some tasks. You know, both of it. Because sometimes we do it some tests and we have some great, for example, idea and I organize it everything. For example, take it, uh, stylist, hairstylist, uh, makeup artists and uh, models and we do it some extra project. And one of it, we do it some extra project. I remember it was at night uh, that stylist uh, sent for me some message and called for me, Dominica, I have brilliant uh, some, some clothes, let's do it. I remember we finished on about 6 a.m. Something like that. And later our pictures, I send it for Vogue Italy and they present it, publish it on their website. Oh, wonderful. So it's actually your own 
initiative sometimes, not yeah, only... sometimes, yes. So it's a good thing to just to underline that it's not only what is just given to you as a task, but you have to you have to start yourself and undertake yourself something new, and then it seems that that it it has good yeah. rewards and it happens. Wonderful to say. So it seems that it's very good to take initiatives by yourself, even work in the night, do something crazy and their results are really amazing. So if any of the viewers of Poland Daily wants to become a photographer or is a photographer, maybe it's a clue to start a different path. I hope you enjoy the story of Dominika Wozniak and you will stay with us for the next episodes. And thank you very much for watching Poland Daily Culture.